Are you constantly being told that you're just way too much? Too sensitive, maybe hypersensitive? Do you feel overwhelmed by other people's emotions and energies? Do you feel that you take everything personally? Are you fed up of taking everything personally? Then you may be an empath. And that's what I'm clarifying for you today. Hi love, I'm Karen Katz, certified professional life coach and speaker for Fortune 500 companies. Honored to be here with you today to clarify what is an empath? What is a highly sensitive person? And most of all, how you can turn this, what some people call a curse, into your most precious gift. An empath, or what some people call a highly sensitive person, is somebody that is overwhelmed by emotions, others and their own. They feel a strong need to help other people. They have a big heart. They want to help others and make things better for them. They want to fix things for people because if the other person's happy, then I can feel relief, relief from their pain. We feel their pain too much to a point where it gets overwhelming. There's difficulty letting people down. There's difficulty making decisions. There's difficulty saying no. We overextend ourselves. We try to people please. We feel codependent. There is a low sense of self and low sense of self worth. We feel that our worth comes from doing things for other people. And we tend to attract narcissists. We tend to attract takers. It's the natural dynamic. We're givers and we tend to attract takers. We may feel lonely, cut off, disconnected, incomplete, a lack of belonging, feeling like we're being taken advantage of all the time, not feeling appreciated, reliving and replaying events from the past. What did I do wrong? If somebody's mad, automatically the question is, what did I do? Why are they mad at me? What's wrong? The bottom underlying is, what's wrong with me? It leads to tremendous anxiety. It leads to tremendous depression, stuck in our heads, replaying events, negative thinking, worrying, led by fear, and not being able to see a way out. Here's a key that is huge, important to understand. Constantly being overly aware of other people's feelings is a trait of trauma survivors. Always trying to work out where the next danger is going to come from. Or trying to save someone that is hurting, hurting because we know what it feels like to be left stranded and broken without having anybody there to save us when we couldn't save ourselves. When I talk about trauma, it's important to clarify that trauma is an overload to our nervous system. It doesn't have to be what we associate with trauma, this huge big thing. It's anything that is an overload to our sensitive, not weak, nervous systems. Another important thing to understand is that it was not your fault. It was never your fault. You were set up because of these traumatic experiences, you were set up in this dreadful dynamic. And there is a way out. 
after going through this hell and helping so many fellow empaths go through this too, here's the list of what an empath or highly sensitive person is to me. This is what I've discovered. Empaths and highly sensitives are extremely strong beings. Brilliant. We have overused our minds to the point of brilliance. Highly aware, extremely powerful manifestors. Let go, forgive easily. Have huge hearts, care about people and their well being, care about the world, care about all of the inhabitants of our world. Have the power to heal, have the power to support others in their healing. They're a light wherever they go, they're magnetic. They're inspirational and uplifting teachers. They're masters of energy. They are able, because of their sensitivity, to tune in to what's not visible to the naked eye, to notice the subtle signs, which allows us to be powerful manifestors when we use our powers, our gift, for what it was created. You can turn this, what people call a dreadful curse, into your most precious gift. I've created a free training that you can access below to show you how to do that. In the meantime, my dear, thank you for healing yourself because as we heal, we heal our world. Namaste.